Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Gems of Knowledge. So in my today's video, we are going to deal with the part C that is biology part of the model paper of class 9th. So if you have not watched the first two parts, the link will be given into the description box. So before starting my video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell button to get the notification as soon as I post my new video. So here the next question that is 27th question is cell organelle called powerhouse of the cell is. So we know that the mitochondria is known as the powerhouse of the cell. Okay, next this is an example for an airborne disease. So airborne disease is nothing but common cold. Common cold is an airborne disease whereas malaria is born, uh, sorry, uh, malaria is just a mosquito disease which is spread through mosquito. Okay, rabies is just when the, when we are bitten by the dogs then we can cause with the rabies. Leprosy is just a bacterial disease. It is not an uh, airborne disease. Okay. Next, the animal red for the purpose of milk production. So, for the purpose of milk production, the animals which are red is cows and buffalo. Okay, next question. Write any two situations of spreading AIDS virus. So, we should tell any two situations in which the AIDS virus will be spreading. So, AIDS virus can spread through blood to blood contact with an infectious person okay so while changing the blood the blood must be tested once with an hiv virus okay that is aids virus because if it is a, if it contains any aids virus then it can it can be harmful to the person who is taking that particular blood okay from an infected mother to her baby during pregnancy even during pregnancy if the mother is infected then there is a chance that baby is also infected okay we'll move to the next one name the local variety of bees used for honey production so local variety of bees are apis dorsata okay apis kerana indica apis floria and apis mellifera so these are the local variety of bees used for honey production Next question, draw the diagram showing the longitudinal section of phloem tissue and label the following parts. So, this is nothing but the diagram for a uh, phloem tissue, okay. Whereas, you need to show only two things here that is sieve plate, this one you have to show and the companion cells, you can show this one, okay. So, this plate like structures are nothing but called as sieve plates, okay. Then, this is sieve tube. Then phloem parenchyma, this part is phloem parenchyma and the cells here are known as companion cells. Next question, draw the diagram of amoeba and label the following parts. So you can see this is just a rough diagram of amoeba. Amoeba is not having any shape as you all know. You can draw it in any way. Okay, and this particular thing which is like a hand coming out. So, for that you can say it is called as pseudopodia, okay. And contractile vacuole, this particular thing is known as contractile vacuole, okay. Next question, draw the diagram of neuron and label the following parts. So, this is just a diagram of neuron and you have to show it where is dendrite and exon. So, this particular thing from where the messages is passed through another neuron, that particular thing is called as dendrite and this thing is nothing but exon, okay. So, the next question, common cold is called acute disease but alphanthiasis is chronic, why? So, you all should know what is acute disease. Acute disease is a disease which shorts for very small period of time whereas chronic disease is a disease which is for the lifetime. We cannot change that uh, disease with some, with any of the medications or whatever thing okay we cannot cure that particular disease that that disease is known as chronic disease or very very infectious disease okay so the disease which lasts for very short period of time is known as acute disease and common cold is an acute disease so the common cold is an acute disease but elephantiasis is 
chronic disease because it's last for a longer period of time okay so it lasts for a long very very longer period of time so this is nothing but known as the chronic disease high blood pressure is non infectious disease because high blood pressure do not spread from one person to another so what is infectious disease mean the disease which spread from person to another person is known as infectious disease and this high blood pressure is a disease which do not spread from one person to another so it is known as non infectious disease next one write the difference between the manure and fertilizer so you need to write the difference between the manure and fertilizer so the first point manure can be obtained from organic substances like peels of vegetables okay fruits and uh, garbages okay garbages in the sense not the plastic one the one which is very very easily biodegradable those things from those things we can obtain the manure whereas fertilizers is artificially obtained chemicals these are the chemicals which are artificially obtained in the factories industries we can say okay then this manure increases the soil fertility whereas these fertilizers decreases the soil fertility okay then protects the soil ph level this protects the ph of the soil and this decreases the ph level of the soil it do not cause water pollution whereas this can cause water pollution if the fertilizers are moving along with the water and some of the animals or uh, birds or even fishes or even hu human beings when we drink that particular water we get a lots of side effects to our body so we can say that that particular water is water polluted okay next right to disadvantages of using fertilizers so you can say all these are nothing but the disadvantages of fertilizers only it is harmful to soil bacteria first point okay when you spray some fertilizers it is very very harmful for the bacteria of the soil it decreases the soil fertility it can cause water pollution and can decrease the soil ph level so all these are nothing but the advantages of for disadvantages of fertilizer next circulatory system of cockroach is not well developed justify so we have to tell why the circulatory system of cockroach is not well developed okay because there is an open circulate circulatory system there is open circulatory system into the cockroach and no and so the blood does not flow in well defined blood vessels so there are no particular uh, blood vessels from where the blood flow can take into the cockroaches there is open circulatory system so it is not well developed okay having both gills and lungs as respiratory organ is advantages to the frog so we know that frog is an amphibian amphibian are such an animals which lives on both land and water okay so maybe this is the reason that uh, it is an advantages to the frog because it has to survive both in water as well as on the land so water it uses gills like how the fishes are surviving using gills okay and when it is on the land it can use its lung to respire maybe this is the reason or another reason you can say the larva of the frog when the frogs are just born in the stage of larva they respire through their gills because they won't be their uh, lungs are not up to date at that time means they are not in the developed position okay and the adult frog respire through the lungs maybe this is the reason or it is a amphibian so it has to live in the uh, water as well as uh, land so this also may be the reason so i have combined both the answers over here okay next write the three differences between plant cell and animal cell so in the plant cell cell wall is present whereas this cell wall is absent in the animal cell okay then chloroplast is present which gives the greener greenest color to this plant okay here the chloroplast is absent because it does not give any color to the animal cell centrioles absent and here centrioles are present these are the difference between the plant cell and animal cell next and the last question some dried raisins are put in plain water for some time okay some raisins are put it into the plain water for some time and then it is 
and then in concentrated sugar solution and then it is transferred to the concentrated sugar solution what are the changes do you observe okay so first point dried raisin when placed in water gains water and gets swelled up you can see the size of the raisin is enlarged means they are swelled up okay so when it is placed into the water then however when it is placed in the concentrated solution of sugar what it does is it loses water into the sugar the whatever water it has taken from here it will leave all that water into the sugar and it gets shrinked again so these are the changes which which we can observe into the raisins part okay so i hope this part is clear to you if you are having any doubts regarding this you can comment me down below so i'll be back soon with another video so till then stay tuned and stay connected thank you